Hi guys, Nemo Dane here. Uh, today's video we're going to cover on getting started. I thought I would go ahead and shoot this video and get some new videos up since we now have 4.11 of the engine version available and the kit has now migrated over to 4.11 as well. So without any ado, let's get started. Uh, you will need Visual Studio 2015. If you don't have it, make sure you get uh, this updated. Simply go to the documentation documentation page. I'll put a link in below. Follow this link and follow the instructions to install this. Make sure you install the complete Visual Studio 2015. Don't do a partial. Uh, someone in this, the forums had an issue with only doing part of an install and it will cause an issue. So make sure you do a full install in 2015 and then we're going to go up and get a source built version of UE4 because that's what the kits needs. You can simply follow his link here just by clicking on it. It's going to take us up to GitHub. If you don't have a GitHub account, go ahead and make sure you get your GitHub account. And then we're going to go into Epic Games Unreal Engine. Uh, this links to the release. You want to use a release version. That's usually the most stable. They'll have many versions up here. You can simply click the download zip if, and bring it down to your system. Or if you want to set up, or you can, uh, there's a way you can. Uh, set it up to link it to download to your desktop I like to just download the zip to me that's just the easiest so you'd simply bring that down and uh, I, I have a folder that I have put I'm gonna put all of my um, engines in that I'll bring down so here you can see I've got the latest uh, release of the Unreal Engine 411 and if you notice it has a pretty long name so when you unzip it I go ahead and shorten the name length if you have this in it's like really many deep in folders and goes way down here and all these long titles you can actually get errors from uh, too many character strings I don't know if you've run into it but I have so I try to keep this engine up close to the C drive and uh, I shorten the name links just so we don't get any errors because it has to go through and build all that just something I sh should point out alright once you have it unzipped simply open the folder let's move that to the center and then uh, what you're going to do let's reduce that and that one is you're going to run the setup and once you run the setup it's going to generate some files and it'll down finish downloading the rest of the engine when that's done simply generate the project files here double click it and it will generate your UE, UE4 uh, Visual Studio solutions folder or file excuse me and then you would double click it and that's going to open up in Visual Studio now that that's going to take just a minute to open it up. Uh, it's going to have to, in a sense, has to scan through all this, depending on the speed of your system. And I just wanted to point out something. We want to make sure we're in Development Editor. And if you notice, I got a, a live, live, a large window here. And so what you want to do? Let's let's make. Usually this is really hard to see. And so what you let's come up here, and we want to right click on the toolbar, come down here to Custom, and then go to Commands. And then we'll go to toolbar. Let's get the drop down menu. Let's go to the standard. Uh, grab solution configurations. Hit modify select. And set this width to about 200 pixels. And what that's going to do, that's going to widen this bar so you can see what you have this set to. Because you're going to be doing a development build for server, you're going to be doing a, just a regular development, and this is for the editor. And this just makes it a lot easier to see. And you can set any others, but I set that one. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, that's a little something I run across. Alright, now that that's open and done, let's go ahead and target uh, UE4 uh, under the engine. And we're going to right click that, and you're going to want to hit build. Now, depending on your system, uh, this can take a pretty good while. Mine takes over an hour, uh, speed and processor. But you want to do a complete uh, build on this and get a nice clean build. Shouldn't have any errors. Uh, you'll get an output report here. All right. Once that's done, let me go back to our document page. Once you've uh, finished getting a good clean build on that, uh, the next part will be we're going to go to opening the project. So we simply need to go to wherever uh, you have that stored. I'm going to close this down. And 
and I, I have a uh, place that I keep the kits when I download them so I have a copy um, you know, have a good naming structure so what we would do is uh, once you have the kit down here's the kit I'm going to uh, bring it over and put it in my uh, workstation Let's make sure that's all right that's the right fo work folder and what I'm going to do is just make a copy I always like to make copies and keep a good fresh copy here on the server I mean server on my system I tend to break stuff really quick while that's moving I'll pause the video all right that's done um, and then it, you could essentially uh, go here and start renaming I'll update this um, actually that's not I'm, this is going to be my base build I want to get a base uh, build of the kit and that way I can have something to work with so let's go back to look at our thing now we need to uh, we're gonna once we have the editor we're gonna need to open it and build the U project so we're gonna open the U project I'm sure I have to close out some of these windows I'm confusing myself all right, let's go down in there. All right, here's the U project. I'm gonna double click it. Well, let's, let's just to double click it. The editor will tell you the project was built with another version. Click yes if it fails to convert. All right, let's make sure. Right click. See what engine version it's showing. Yeah, let's let's we want to go with 4.11. So let's set that to 4.11. We'll hit OK. And then that's going to build. Um, that's going to build everything for the 411. We're now linking um, the new kit with the engine 411. All right, that's going to take just a little bit. Uh, I'll pause the video here. All right, that's done. And now this is where we're going to double click the U project, and it should get this pop-up window that says it's missing uh, these modules, and it should do another clean. So we're going to double click. system is running slow this morning didn't have enough coffee with it and there it is uh, the following mo modules so it's gonna ask if you want to rebuild them and you're gonna say yes and this is gonna take a little bit while to rebuild and while that's going I'll pause the video all right and now it's opened uh, just be aware that when you open it the first time, it took it took a really long time on my poor old slow slow system. So, as long as it's you can open Task Manager as long as it's not locked up or it says not responding, it you're good to go. But it's going to take a while for that first time. We had to compile a lot of shaders. But so now we have the uh, game open and working. We can reduce that. All right, so we got, just to recap, we went and got the latest version of the engine, 4.11, brought it down, unpacked it, updated it, did a good build on it, got a clean build, go up and download the MMO kit, open it up, uh, then we're going to associate it to the correct engine version, 4.11, and then you'll have to rebuild the DLLs. Once that's done, we're uh, all caught up for this part. And the next thing we'll go into is setting up the database. So that'll be in another uh, video. And we'll go ahead and move on to there. See you all in a little bit. All right, bye.